Hi, my name's Ian Chivers, and this is a very quick video demonstration of the SharePoint 2010 document control. Right, so what we have here is a SharePoint foundation server and a team site with our document control library here, which has enforced check in checkout and version control enabled, as well as a few little extras. So if we open up just a normal document uh, library. So let's go ahead and create a brand new document. Okay, what we're going to open up here is Word is going to open up a new document based on a template which is associated to a content type in SharePoint. So <clears throat> what we've got here is um, a, a Word document based on a document template that has um, some headers and footers set. Um, now we're not going to worry about headers and footers, they contain some specially named bookmarks that are going to get updated on the document by the server when we check it in. Um, so what we're going to do is just quickly fill in the mandatory fields up here. Um, we're going to choose a document type, let's make this one a policy, give it a, a unique document number, select a category and a subcategory. Um, a document owner, who's the person responsible for all of managing all of the review, approval, and document control tasks. Um, so I'll make that me. And the only other mandatory field are the document approvers. Now, document approval is a serial-based workflow. Um, so each one in turn will be requested their approval. If any of them reject approval, the whole approval workflow stops and the document owner is notified that um, someone has rejected the approval. Um, I'm just going to have one approver, make that me. Um, we'll just put some simple content into the document. So I'm not touching any of the, the headers and footers, they'll all get populated automatically for me. Um, so that's wonderful. So let's go ahead and just close that and save changes. Um, the document name is fine, just save that off to the document library. Okay, so there's our document. Document status is draft. Um, what we need to do before we can do anything else is to check it in. So let's go ahead and check it in. Um, check it in as a minor version. I don't want to retain the check in and I don't want to enter any comments. So now that the document is checked in, if we look at the properties of it, one of the options under the actions here is to submit for approval. And we can see down here the document approvers is me. Um, down here there's no approval actually running. So let's go ahead and submit the document for approval. So this is actually starting the approval workflow, which is in effect creating a workflow task for me to come and approve this document. Um, so the document status is now awaiting approval. We can see that the submit for approval workflow is in progress. So if we highlight the document again and, and view properties, down here we can see that the document approvers, there's um, an approval needed task here. So this is a task that exists um, in the site task list. So you can access it by um, opening the task list itself. Um, an email would have been sent uh, to the to me requesting approval for the document. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and open the task through here. Okay, so standard workflow uh, task here. Um, I'm just going to edit the item. Um, if we scroll down, what we need to do is say that the status of the task is completed and then further down here we have um, an approval status. Do I approve or reject this document? So I'm going to say that I approve it and save it. Okay, so um, this particular task is completed and I've approved it. So if we close that document now and we just go ahead and refresh this view, we can now see the document status is approved. Um, obviously I was the only approver. If there were more approvers then it would have um, stayed at awaiting approval until all the approvers had approved it. Um, so submit for approval is now complete. Now the document is approved, we can actually go ahead and publish it as a major version. So let's let's do that. Okay, I don't want to put any comments in there. 
Okay, so now we have a published document, fantastic. So let's click on document control again. Um, all Documents is kind of a working view for all of the document editors and owners to to live and main, manage their documents in. Um, the general public, that just all of the readers, would typically look at the published documents view. Okay, um, so this this particular view is um, categorised by the two categories. There we can see our document version one, um, and we can click to open it. So let's do that quickly, and we'll check that the bookmarks and the header and footer have indeed been updated. Um, scroll down the bottom there's some more. Um, we didn't put a review date or distribution perhaps we'll cover those in another video another time. Okay so wonderful a, a published document um, done but what happens when some the document owner wants to make some changes to the document? They, they want to do that behind the scenes they don't want the great the, the great unwash the public viewers to see the changes that they're making until they it's approved and, and they publish it. Um, so let's go back to the all documents view um, and let's check this document out now we want to make some changes so if we say we want to edit it in Word um, we do want to check it out that's fine okay let's make some changes here Okay, we say we made some changes. You can see um, the header. The the header here has changed from the published document. The issue date is no longer there, um, and the version is now 1.1, and the status is draft. So, the 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 application is automatically updating this Word document for us. So let's go ahead and save that. Do we want to check it in? Yes, let's check it in. I'm not going to make any version comments. Okay, so the status of this document is now draft. It's, it is version 1.1. But let's go back to the published documents view and check what everybody else can see on this document. So in the published documents view, the version is still version 1 here. And if we click to open up the document, just check that it's, um, yeah, that looks fine. Nothing's, nothing's changed here. Fantastic. Okay, so let's close that. Let's go back to our all documents view. Um, so here's our draft document. Now what I'm going to do is just simply approve this and publish it. Um, so same process, few properties. Um, nothing, nothing else has changed on here. Still got the same owner approvers categories. Let's submit for approval. Uh, so there we have it, awaiting approval. Just quickly nip into the view properties again. Okay, here's my task to approve the document. So let's open that up. Edit. Okay, the status of this approval task is completed and I'm going to approve it. Save that. Close, let's just refresh this. Okay, that's now approved. So let's go ahead and uh, publish this document now. Okay. Okay, so there's published. Um, let's go see what's happened in our published view. Ah, okay, so now we have version is 2.0. Let's just open the document up. That's better. Okay, so now we can see the published document um, has been updated. It's got our changes in it there. Um, the issue date is obviously still the same, but if we scroll down to the bottom, we should see the version is now 2.0. Excellent. Okay, um, so that pretty much completes this very short snippet video of SharePoint document control. Hopefully I'm going to create some other videos that demonstrate the document review process um, and the change request feature that we have up here. But thanks for your time in watching this short video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you again. Bye bye.